Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 10th to the 16th of June 2019 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Aries. So we have five cards at the top all clarified by a separate Rider Waite tarot deck. Um, so we have the past, the present, challenges, should you have any, op um, advice from tarot and outcome. I've also turned over the bottom of the deck as well. There's an angel card and a spirit message card as well for further clarification, Aries. So before I start, Aries, we have the Eight of Cups at the beginning of the reading and the Eight of Cups at the end of the reading. It's making a point and I'll, I'll go through what it's saying along this, this kind of like this journey of these cards. But it's saying whatever choice you made some of you made choices to walk away from something, to abandon, abandon something that wasn't working. Something didn't fit you anymore. Something was missing. You see the missing cup here. Something was missing in the past and you chose to walk away. With this appearing at the end of the reading as well, and this could be in love, this could be jobs, this could be career, whatever it was, it's saying that you were right. You were right. For those of you who were unsure, for those of you who may well think, oh, should I have done that? Should I have done that to myself? This, these cards, obviously it doesn't resonate for everybody, but for those of you it does. It said you made the right decision. You made the right decision for you, yeah. So, past position Aries. <laughs> I love these cards. So, yeah. We have... Um, Saturn in Pisces with the Eight of Cups energy. And this Pisces is linked to Neptune, about visions, um, dreams, imagination, hopes, desires, everything that you'd hoped would manifest in a situation or possibility. You might have invested some time and effort, maybe some of your heart, a piece of you in some way, shape or form. This is you making the clear choice to walk away in the past. Um, because it just didn't suit you anymore or something didn't fit or there was something missing. It wasn't fulfilling you. Um, and I just feel that, yeah, like I said before, this is you making the right choice in order to move forward in your life. So making clear choices, Aries, in the past. Um, you taking control of your, your own life as you would do, being an Aries, being the great initiator. And you know, taking charge of your own life on things that just haven't worked out in the past. So you're not afraid to abandon something if it hasn't worked out. Yeah, it might well also be that you might have tried and failed at situations. Um, I'll go into the, who this is in a minute. I will. Because this is, um, this can be trial and error through, by being successful, there is trial and error as well associated with this card so it might well be that you know you've learned a lot from this situation by failing and we learn more from our failures than we do our successes and i think that's made you stronger yeah the three of wands yeah don't know if you recognize them but this is the young emperor aries this is the young emperor he's not looking at the past He's turned his back on the past, just like this person in the picture here. So he's interested in the future. He's interested in his own journey, his, in his own adventure, in his own success, in, in grabbing hold of opportunities that are presented to him and really making them successful, reaffirming his power over his dominion, him taking control of events of situations and manifesting great change. This is the beginnings of manifestation with the three. There is some creativity attached to this card. Um, so being inspired, taking action, being inspired. Yeah, I just think this is such a beautiful card, the young emperor. This is you, Aries. This is the sun in Aries. And what the sun does, it gives you that kind of boost. It makes you extra creative, extra productive, extra, extra energy, um, you know, taking the leader st leadership in a wonderfully boosted way almost, you know, that just that phenomenal energy to go, to bring change, to bring prosperity, to bring abundance to your life. You don't feel that this person's going to fail. Um, 
And he's not afraid of failing either. He's not afraid of failing because he can start again because he's done it before. And that's the beauty of this energy. There's just no regret. Um, for those of you who may have had some emotional connection to this, because it is cups energy after all, I just don't feel... These cards are saying that there shouldn't be a regret because this is just your energy. You initiate change and you have that spark that can really bring about wonderful abundance, wonderful success, can be material success as well. And you see these ships in the background. You know, this journey is saying that there are opportunities here, Aries. OK, there's a level of, of getting to a level of, of some success, of a level of progress. It's not all here yet. It's not all here yet. You can see in the distance. You can smell that success. You can sense that success because that's a sign you are. Um, you can sense that if you take action in a certain way, if you grab hold of opportunities and make them, just, you know, sprinkle the Aries magic that you have, this is making your ships come in. You can see them in the distance, but you know, you know long term it's going to pay off, and it is. This is the car and earth energy. This is the king of pentacles. This is all about monetary success, about wealth, prosperity, and the decisions that you've been making to walk away from a situation, to start something new, to bring about change, to manifest, are all on that road to success, to be financially secure and successful, certainly, having that solidity as well in your own life. Because I kind of feel that you trust you, you trust your judgments. Um, and if there were any wobbles in the past, I kind of feel this is just you coming into your element again. It doesn't last for long because, you know, you've got this wonderful ability to ground yourself. Um, so, yeah, I just feel, Aries, that this is you chomping at the bit to just go now. Um, that green light to go. Powerful energies there. But yeah, there's the promise of real success, real achievement in the horizon. Um, beautiful, beautiful. And that's why I love this card. Because this, for me, really does describe Aries in action. Yeah. Now. The present position, we have a new beginning and we have the two of cups. There could be a, a new beginning in love for some of you, yeah. I kind of feel, though, I mean, this isn't just about love. Um, because the pentacles is more business associated with business and jobs, the two could be more of choices, invitations to make, in invitations, um, opportunities maybe. Both of these could be opportunities, invitations from somebody or some someone um, that's offering you maybe a job, could be offering you money, maybe as an investor, um, could be offering you a business venture or business partnership, the beginnings of something wonderful, the open door to new horizons, yeah? So again, bringing your spark of energy to begin something new. Um, and this is divinely guided. I mean, a lot, both of these cards are divinely guided. I also think, looking at that two of, of cups here, this is just you coming back to you I am feeling that love energy Aries this is just you finding you again maybe having lost yourself in the past maybe had between this journey and that journey certainly the eight of cups and, and the three of wands there might have been a few wobbles did I do the right thing is it all going to work out well in the end you know there are a few panics but um I think this is just you showing that you have that ability the skills this, this the experience to really manufacture that that new beginning and meet the divine halfway and making that happen too so it's a reward it's a gift and it's a monetary gift some of you could be getting the beginnings of a bonus uh, sorry some of you could be getting a bonus some of you could be getting on, on the way to at the beginning of a journey of something wonderful as well so if it's not an offer this is a pentacle energy this is just finding how to create that material wealth that ends with that king of, of, of pentacles energy long term. Whatever you're starting, there's real opportunity here to make material wealth, material success in your life. Again, for that stability and security as well as everything else, Aries. Because I kind of feel that Eight of Cups energy, there may have been some instability around that, choices that you had to make, you might not have had. 
um, a lot of money associated with that. So this is where you're looking for that material wealth, material success again. But it's coming. I mean, these are both offers and invitations and just being in that happier place. Yeah, again, there's just an instinctive flavour to this reading of of knowing where you're going, the ever ever optimistic opportunist, yeah? That is the young emperor, the opportunist at its best. So, yeah, um, these are the challenges. Now, the four of, of swords can be about a momentary pause. It can be about pacing yourself. The knight of wands is chomping in the bit to go. This is fire energy again. This is somebody who is 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 literally on fire, they're ready, they're, they're going for it. This is the green light to go. They want um, to, they're in search of power, they're in search of opportunity, they're in search of success. Um, this is such a fast moving energy, this could be an offer. An offer could come in, for example, from this opportunity. The challenge is, as an energy, this can be very, even with all the energy that you have, Aries, you know, if you're going and going and going, you could tire yourself out at certain stages. So it is about pacing yourself to, to get that new beginning, the end game. And bear in mind, this is Pentacles energy. So it is about pacing yourself. And remember, we had the King of Pentacles in the past position of what you're working towards. So Pentacles energy, slow but steady energy. You know, if you mix it with that fast moving fire energy, there's a real steady pace about it. So not going to the point of exhaustion, Aries. The other thing is, some of you may well have been ill. Um, some of you may well have been ill. There might have been a recuperative... Uh, you know... Do you know, I'm just... Some of you... By I'm just... You know, I'm just getting so many messages in my head. So, OK, this Eight of, of Cups, when I'm feeling... Making this decision to walk away in whatever shape or whether it's in love, whether it's in business from a job or a, a relationship. Um, some of you may have ha may have been affected with your mind. Some of you may have had stress or, or depression or something along those lines, not necessarily for a long period of time. This is almost kind of like just a small period of time. But some of you could have been overwhelmed by a situation. Yeah. So it's kind of like your challenge is overcoming that as well. But it can also be to do with health issues as well. Just watching your health, going at a steady pace, not pushing you to this, to, you know, pushing yourself to the nth degree where, you know, you just fall over in a quivering wreck. So this is about steady progress, opportunities there for the, for the taking, but go at a steady pace, yeah. Yeah. I mean, these are beautiful cards. Yeah. Okay. Let me just think about these one second. So this is the advice from Tarot. This is the advice from Tarot. Yeah. Okay. Let me read these cards first. So the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles... You see these two people, they allow their negativities to consume them to the point where they can't see opportunity past the end of their nose. And there's a concern here that opportunity might pass you by if you don't step back and see the bigger picture, Aries. Yeah, these people could quite easily go into this church to the left of them and seek shelter, but they just don't see it because they're so consumed with their immediate worries that they don't see the bigger picture, the bigger opportunity. And the Wheel of Fortune is saying things are turning in your favour, good things are happening now, really good things are happening in your life now. This is the Jupiterian energy of the Wheel of Fortune, the, the, car, the planet of prosperity, growth, expansion. Um, so there's real opportunity here to grow, expand, flourish, thrive. Um, grab hold of that opportunity, grab hold of those opportunities while they last. And, you know, this connects to material success. This connects to love. This is that open portal to prosperity and abundance, career progression. It removes blocks. It removes obstacles from your path. So don't put any up. I guess that's what I'm feeling is don't put any obstacles up to this. And I feel that's what Tara was saying. Know your worth. Again, I think there could just be some wobbles. 
There's also an isolationist aspect to this Five of Pentacles. Don't isolate yourself from opportunities. You know, know your worth. You deserve the opportunity. You deserve growth, expansion to flourish now. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, and I kind of think this energy, the, the negativities that have caught you up in the past, death is here to say it's time to let go of them. Death knocks down limit limitations, uh, limiting boundaries that we might place on ourselves, limiting beliefs that we might think or feel on ourselves from the past, even from childhood even. All of those beliefs are knocked down to liberate us. Now is the time for liberation. Now is the time for grabbing hold of a wheel of fortune that sits in the sky, in that divine blue sky. It's almost kind of like the, the sky is the limit. Liberate yourself to blue sky thinking. And that's what I'm feeling for you, Aries. This is, the death is allow something to go. Allow this negativity from the past to go. Allow this feeling of not being good enough or not being valued in the past or not being worth what you are or not being seen to be worth what you are. All these negative things that other people can say about us. It's not just you. It's all the other, you know, it could be other people having put you in that position um, and you need to make choices in order to take your control back. So I just feel now is the time for you to let that all go because by letting that go, you see that sun rising in the distance, you allow that new day, that new beginning to, to come into you and it's so beautiful, yeah. So, yeah, powerful energy. It's rebirth. This is purification at its best. This is burning away the trappings of things that have held us back in the past. And from that, there's release. This is surrender and release the past in order to move forward, Aries. One final time, there's a finality to death. So surrender and release and opportunity. Opportunity awaits. That's what the message is. It's beautiful. And yeah, and when you do, Aries, when you do, this is the beginnings of something wonderful. This is a page who is taking that ace of pentacles and they're planting that seed in the field here and watching it grow. They're tending to it. They're taking action. They're making it grow. They're taking action now. Um, finding progress. Again, there's progression with the Knight of Wands energy making it grow and flourish and thrive. It might take a while. I don't think this is the finished story. As I said, this is this is you manifesting. There are opportunities to be had. But this is ending somewhere really high. This is ending somewhere high now. So really powerful energies. There's, there's reasons to celebrate, certainly this week. There are reasons to just have that happy home as well. Some of you have worked hard. Sorry, the cat's going mad. Cat, go on. Oh, honestly, meowing all the time and I've nearly finished. <laughs> um, so this is the four of, of wands is finding solid ground. Again, both of these cards, finding solid ground, the beginning of a wonderful journey. Yeah, and this is because you made that choice to move on. You made that choice to take control of your life. You moved on from things that just weren't working out and chose to take control of your life and look how it's working out. This is beautiful. This is such a beautiful story. There's promise and material success here. Some of you, I feel, needed to protect your home and I feel some of you are doing that. You're bringing about that positive change this is an offer as well, again, opportunities on the career front, most definitely, most definitely, to make more money. Um, but yeah, this is just celebratory, this is just, I mean, it can be about marriage engagement, I'm not feeling that, if there's two of cups, um, this could be meeting somebody potentially that could lead to um, marriage and engagement, I'm not feeling that, it's the key thing in the reading, but that could be a possibility. This is just the seeds that you're planting, the work that you're doing is not going um, unrewarded. This is you planting the seeds of, of getting the reward long term, so it's beautiful energy. 
Yeah, the Angel Oracle card is Surrender and Release. And yeah, and that's absolutely the advice from Tarot. Surrender and Release, Aries. And I think you've done a lot of that already. Yeah, new beginnings, new beginnings. I just feel, yeah, new beginnings on the horizon. You can sense that. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move, move you in a new direction. Yeah. But you know what, Aries? I think that young emperor is ready for it. So... Beautiful energies. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.